person who loves Japanese culture. PA approach Kampong Chai Chi CC and they tell us that would you like to start a training class for Japanese drum? I was like, game to try it. The toughest thing that when we first started Taiko is recruitment. A lot of men who came and says, no, this is a very strenuous kind of activity. I don't enjoy. I took a Taiko because I find a very macho activity, but I was wrong. At the end of the day, I found that the uh, instructors is actually ladies, even the assistant instructor ladies, and uh, more uh, lady members in the group than guys. Well, it was tough, but I think I still believe in passion. Her passion for the subject is very important. I think if they were lackluster or didn't care, it would be hard for us. When you watch the way Sue plays, then you end up knowing that if you continue to work, you'll get a chance to maybe perform a little bit like that. How do I keep them interested in a group? I need to bond with them. I always try to organize like birthdays, festive seasons like Christmas, Chinese New Year and even we have uh, some outings, photo shootings. Sue's passion has really influenced me to want to find out more about this performing art, so much so that this year in June, I even paid for myself a trip to Japan, uh, organized by Sue, to find out more about this performing art. There was quite a few hours, I think six hours, by spending one whole week together, it made us even closer as a group. Sue also really stressed a lot of time to us to do a performance, it's not about individual because you need the bonding and the relationship to really perform a perfect pieces. One of the chingays, we have Daiko, Ushu, Silat and Gamilan. And that's how we reach out to the bigger community. If you have a passion for something, just go for it. Because I always believe that there are always ups and downs, but that's where you learn. And at the end of the day, you'll find it very, very satisfying. I'm teaching Pilates and I'm teaching Zumba. Last time is aerobics. I encourage my interclass or my Pilates and Zumba together. So whenever there's a Zumba ton, they will all join together. Even other courses people, they come and become good friends. So we went for marathon, we went for exercise. I've made a lot of friends from my class. We do a lot of things together. Going for karaoke, high tea, shopping for Zumba clothes. I think we can make a lasting friendship and we exchange uh, telephone numbers, uh, we send WhatsApp to each other like practically every day. I've been to many Zumba classes, but um, when it comes to Janice, I love Janice so much in her class because she's very energetic, cheerful, friendly, she's good in her coaching. I've been like a week, three classes of Janice class, and every time when I'm there, I see different faces, so three nights, Three times I have friends. When I teach a class, whenever I'm available for my time, they share to me their problem. They have family problem. They come and talk to me. I'm very close with all my students, like a sister to me. About 10 years ago, I joined her aerobic class. Then, we uh, lost Then, in 2004, I fall sick I, in hospital. First thing I think, about Janice, so I call her. Within half an hour, she went to the hospital to visit me. When thinking of Janice's help, right, I don't know how to uh, report her. Two things to be a good trainer must have two P, minimum requirement. One, patient. Two, passion. Because all sorts of people come into your life. If you've got no patient, you keep scolding people. People don't come back because I heard people feedback to me, Janice, I love the class because you are so patient and passion. You love your job. Once you love things that you like to do, you can see that you go long, long way, long, long road of success. Untuk menjadi 
Katrina Melidan dekat CC amat mencabar. Susah nak dapat anak-anak muda into the Malay dance. So dari situ, I create lah tarian Melayu. Kita fusionkan dengan tarian lain lah. Dia orang suka macam hip hop, K-pop. Before I joined Artrika Dance Company, I saw a video of my schoolmates performance on Facebook. At first I thought it's like just normal Malay dance, but that's actually fusion dance, Malay dance with hip hop. When I showed this video to my mom, my mom encouraged me to join. I send them to a lot of shows. So dari situ I push my dancers. Bila buat that kind of project, satunya they learn about how to be a good dancer, how to manage, and then they also get a new friends, and from there they get the confident. Before I masuk Achika Dance Company, I very pemalu, susah nak buat kawan. After I join Achika Dance Company, I make more new friends. Kita macam very big family gitu. We also go picnic, chile, barbecue, party. My hubungan dengan my dancers very akrab. I put myself as their sister, mother, so that I can be close to them understand them, be their good friend lah. It is very important. Selain dari just jadi dance trainer. Walaupun fierce, but still she always give the motherly love to all of us. She get to know every single one of us. I find it easy for me to share all my personal stuff with her. Kita semua dah anggap dia macam mama kita. So, yeah, at times kita panggil dia mama mas. I also like this youngster to be somebody, give back to the community. Hopefully, ramai yang akan jadi a good Singaporean, you know, yang berwawasan. I feel in my own way, I adalah buat sedikit perubahan pada anak-anak muda ni. Uh, with PA since 2009. It's been a very enriching and amazing journey for me even though it's been only three years plus because I have been involved with a lot of events initiated by PA and also uh, initiated some events as well. I believe that grassroots involvement is very important and I really have a passion for it. That's why I initiated the uh, Cardio Dance Japan fundraiser for the tsunami victims to get the uh, members involved and they can contribute and get a good workout at the same time. They brought their families, so it was really an effort of the community. When I came to Singapore, I was in the HDB. And then after a few years, I moved to the condominium. I realized that I'm slowly losing my touch with locals here in Singapore. Then I decided that even though my condo also has the same classes, I will still join Alicia in the CC. Involved in grassroots is really important for me because um, it goes beyond the classroom. I get to know my members better. Out of the class, you will you know find their common interests with the rest. They, they get to share their talents. I get to be able to bring that out from them, including myself. I discover other areas that I can do besides teaching. She's a very warm, encouraging person. Ren and Yoke San always get us to get to know one another. And also after class, we tend to hang around, chit-chat, and also talk about personal life. We started this Facebook page called Alicia in Fitness Group so that we can upload photos, upload videos, so that we can see each of us dance. And then from there, we can find more new friends. I always encourage my class members who are very interested in this uh, fitness if they want to go beyond and become trainers because that is really the next step. Go for training if they enjoy it and really go for it. Thank you. 
which is very humorous. Her lesson also very creative. Involve parents. I have a quality time with my son. And at the same time, we also make friends with other students and their parents. It's some sort of like a family. This is my daughter. She likes to teach her Irene's uh, class very much. In her class, can meet local Singaporean kids and uh, make new friends here. Thanks to Miss Irene's class, uh, we feel at home here. 然后呢，另外一个是户外活动，邀请一些爸爸妈妈跟孩子亲子关系，就是用一个纸盘剪了一个洞，然后看着风景跟他画出来。因为这个不是单纯是画画，而且是要啊，好像一个family在一起。I like to teach Iris class because she's a nice and patient teacher. I get to know some parents doing her class and we also went to art competition together. Sometimes when I was busy, they will fetch my daughters from teacher Iris class. 我经常有鼓励学生参与一些不如户外的图画比赛比如今年的八月我有教一些学生与我参加这个比赛就是关于Celebrate This picture is me and teacher Irene We both also win first prize and our picture became the mural wall painting When we paint the mural, I invited my friends and family to come over to help me paint the mural wall painting 如果有一些他喜欢成为毕业的群人，他必须懂得啊，要有爱心，啊，有进取心，还有热情。我很荣幸，我很快乐这份工作。trainer for eight years and I really like it. I think it's my passion for Tai Chi and I like more people to know Tai Chi. People think that Tai Chi is for old Chinese people but in fact in my class I have uh, Malay, Indian, I have other races and all ages. Many people think that Tai Chi is for old people. I am only 35 years old but I feel very happy. I feel a little bit too late. I hope that more people can learn from more young people when they learn from more young people. Through teaching Tai Chi, I know a lot of people. I'm very happy to see that all my students they are become friends and they are getting closer. I've made a lot of friends from my Tai Chi classes, especially the other classes. We all, when we get together, we look at our uniform and we know we all belong to the same Gladys' class. We have fun when we go out. We will have outing once or twice in a year. Through all these activities, different students from the classes, they will get to know each other. We have done many retreats over the last few years. Tai Chi by the Sea retreat. Apart from that, we also have a few other retreats uh, out of Singapore. Somehow, through this practice of Tai Chi, we have become an extended family. I think a good trainer must inspire the student. For those, I think that they have the ability, I will encourage them to be my assistant to help me in the class. Each year we have various performances. Tai Chi Kung Fu Fan 2012, very impressive because it's to get 1,000 people together, all come from different CC and from different trainers. We have to really synchronize them, make their form uniform. It's not something easy. 我觉得最大的一个收益就是去年的庄艺大游行吧，大家互相扶持，互相练习，互相指导。当我们真正的去表演的时候，虽然说很辛苦，但是我觉得当我们听到观众那种掌声拍起来的时候，就感觉的，
Happy。